Proclaim you, Philippides of Athens, the champion of these Olympic Games. May you thank the gods for having given you the laurel wreath of victory. Four years hence, we shall gather at the eternal flame for the next Olympic Games. divine Athena, to thee I consecrate the laurels of Olympia, as thou hast protected me, goddess, protect Athens, which bears thy name. Today is a day for celebration. Philippides has brought Athens the laurels of the Olympic Games. Now he returns to his post in the ranks of Athens' sacred god. We must never forget that the people of Athens decreed only a short year ago the exile of the tyrant Hippias and have forever banished dictatorship. To you, valorous Philippides, and to your companions of the sacred god, the Athenians appoint you the custodians of their liberty. I'm not afraid of death, Miltiades, and hope we shall never have to fight for liberty. But we live in a democracy. And if there's war, then every citizen, every citizen will be a soldier. Miltiades! To you, sir, commander of the military forces of our city, and to you, Crucis, our beloved leading citizen and head of the Council of Athens, I ask in the name of all my companions that Philippides be made commander of the sacred guard. Bravo, Philippides. <laughs> You're a popular man today. I, too, make you the custodian of my liberty. Theocritus, I'm just a peasant. The gods gave me strength, but they gave you something even more precious. Intelligence. Be sure you make use of it. The sun sinks in splendor, red as blood, bringing the fearsome blackness of the night. While the desperate Trojans pray to all the gods above 
hoping to live till the dawn. Go on, Andromeda. Read us the passage about the Great War. No, read us a story about Paris and Helen. Read, Andromeda. Whatever you like. Then I shall read you of Paris and Helen. Oh, wonderful. I always cry when I hear it. Here's my father. I shall read it later. Bruce says your daughter doesn't seem to love her future husband. Every time she sees me, she frowns. No, no. You're wrong, Theocritus. He is wrong, isn't he, Andromeda? You said it for me. You already know the use of double meanings, Andromeda. Perhaps your father should not have promised you to me when we were children. You might want to marry someone else. You young people have strange ideas. In my day, we wouldn't have dared to argue about whom our parents had chosen for us to marry. But with that, I leave you. Andromeda, think over what your father said. Philippides will be a dangerous opponent for us. He's a friend of Miltiades, and he's bullheaded like all our peasants. No, Philippides is not a mere peasant. He is a man who loves the soil only because he doesn't know anything better. <laughs> We will show him how good life can be. And he'll be one of us. What do you mean? If we control the sacred guard, we could easily control the whole city of Athens. That is what Hippias in exile suggested we do. Philippides has to join us. Otherwise, he'll be done away with. Theocritus. You know I share your ideals and those of Hippias. I promised you my daughter. But I refuse to be involved in bloodshed. I refuse. Oh, huh. Crucis. I don't want Philippides removed. I want him with us. To our ideals. <laughs> oh! You frightened me. Is hitting me part of the game? No. And losing a ball in a tree isn't part of the game either. It's there. I was trying to knock the ball out of the tree. It's not too easy to do. Want to try? That wasn't so hard. How do you play this game? You throw the ball as far as possible. Like this. Was that all right? No, that was too far. You're as beautiful as a statue of a goddess. Why don't you like me? I know you. You are Philippides, Philippides, the hero of Olympia. And you? My name is... I won't tell you. We shall never meet again. We will meet again. Do you know the temple on the road to Piraeus? I know it very well. What are you talking about? He wants to see you again. He is just being kind. You're wrong. I really want to. Come on. Don't forget, she will dance with us in honor of Eve at the temple tonight. Remember. <laughs> Are you Philippides? Yes, I am. You are a fortunate man, Philippides. I have an invitation for you from my mistress. A girl who will dance tonight? Why, that's right, Philippides. A girl will dance tonight. How did you know? What's her name? What difference does that make? She will be no more beautiful if you know her name. It doesn't matter. All right. Where do I go? Follow me. Yes, Philippides. The hero of Olympia. And you, Kairos, will tame him.
I hope he is at least a handsome man. Would I ask you to make love to him if he were not? Well, it would hardly be the first time you've lied to me, Theocritus. Be careful of what you say. And think about what you have to do. Let me tell you this. Win him to my cause and you can name your price. Oh, that's much better. I adore to hear you when you talk that way. Here he is. Don't you want to see him? Well, what do you think of him? <laughs> Good night, Karis. I will leave you to your work. You may go in. You're expected. Welcome to my house. What's the matter? Are you not pleased by what you see, Philippides? I was expecting to see someone else. Ah, prettier than me? No, different. Who are you? Caris. I was at Olympia the day you won. You know, I think I've heard your name before. I've prepared a feast in your honor. For me? You'll see. The most wonderful dancer in Athens. The finest wine, wrestlers and music. And it's all for you. I thank you, Caris. But not tonight. We'll see about that. over the Acropolis, you shall see. He'll be here. Andromeda, Diana, come, it's time. Oh, divine Venus, in your goodness, grant that we find our beloved. They were the finest. Know what I pay them? Well, I like this better. Don't you like wrestling at all? I do. But these men are not wrestlers. They're killers. Brutes are what they are. Thank you very much, but I must leave. You are rude. You have to leave. 
I'm very sorry, but I must. As you wish. Let me pass. Stop it at once. that fantastic story. When do you meet him again? I doubt if I ever will. Why do you insist on it? I have already explained it to you as eloquently as I could. I'm not used to being rejected, the awkward. I don't like it. Mm. And I don't want anyone to know Karis, it. Karis, I don't give up so That's easily. Enough. I thought you understood, Karis, what your position was. I decide what you do and when you do it. Is that clear? This house is mine. Everything you have is mine. This time you are mistaken. And you too, Karis, are mine. You wish I would leave here. But don't ask me to do this. I've no desire to hurt Philippides. I pay well to be served. What is this with Philippides? <laughs> are you in love? He's the one who's in love. But with another. Ah. So that's it. Philippides loves someone else. <laughs> and you love him. I will not see him anymore. That was to remind you that you will see Philippides whether you want to or not. You will obey me, Karis. You will obey all my orders, whatever I tell you to do. You have no choice. Understand. Otherwise, I will kill you. you say you hate weapons. Yet even a man like you might need them one day. You may be right, but it would be better if weapons didn't exist. But they do exist, Philippides. What if you were attacked by a swordsman? You would be at a disadvantage. You have to know how to use a sword. Here, catch it. All right. Parry. Again. Faster. Watch your shoulder. Miltiades, you're fast as the wind. Again. You try. Now. Ah, beautiful. Perfect. Another thing. A sword is not used only for hand-to-hand -hand fighting. This way? Now. That's it. was dead center. What is it? What happened to him? A girl. He saw her chariot and rode off after her.
Why did you run from me? I have nothing to say to you. I only want to tell you I've been thinking about you. You only saw me once. You don't even know my name. Does it matter? I think that... I love you. Don't you believe me? It's no use. My future's been decided. You must never see me again. Listen. I won't give you up if you tell me one thing. Say that you could love me. No. You mustn't even hope it would be useless. Please forget me. you? I know you would never have come to see me. How did you get in? I don't have much trouble making men do what I want them to do, but not Philippides. You're wrong. I'm glad you came. I don't believe you. No, not like that. You must never kiss me like that, Philippides. Kiss me when your anger has left you. There's no anger in me. No love. Don't worry, I know you don't love me. It's too much to ask for, I'm aware of that. But I want to make you happy. I wish it were as easy as you seem to think. Before I met you, I had no need of love. But now I do. I love you. I need you so much. All you need is to get what you want. You're cruel. Philippides, time to relieve the guard. I have to go. Goodbye, Karis. I'm here so we could convince him. Convince Philippides. <laughs> Might as well try to convince Miltiades. How do you suggest we go about it? You said you were the expert. Every man has his price, some way or other. I hate these intrigues. Hippias is returning from exile. Soon we'll be able to act. The people are with us. But the sacred guard could ruin everything if it were against us, Crucis. Well then, you have an idea? Of course, and it's a beautiful one. What is it, Theocritus? I'll tell you later. Don't worry. You sent for me, Father? Yes. We're having an important guest, my dear. I want you to dine with us today. A very important guest, Andromeda. Very. A friend of yours? Not yet. But he soon may be one. What is his name? He'll tell you himself. There he is. Philippides is here. Welcome to my home, Philippides. Your presence here is an honor. So is your invitation. This is my daughter, who is to become my wife. It seems you already know each other. Yes, we may have met, but without really knowing each other, as it happens in a dream sometimes. 
If I had ever met you, even in a dream, I would remember. I don't understand a word of what you're talking about. The table is set. Be seated. Music! Music is excellent for the digestion, if you please. Find thee the pleasures of wine, and drown the sorrows of life. Find thee the pleasure of company, and know the beauty of life. What is it, Philippides? I'm afraid you're not having a very good time. On the contrary, I'm having a wonderful time. Council in session? At this hour? Surprising. They must have an important reason. I'm very sorry, but I must go. Philippides, my house is yours. Andromeda and Theocritus will keep you company. Do you know what is going on? I know what everyone knows. Our fleet is decimated. And the Persians threaten to land on our shores, guided by the traitor Hippias. Not everyone thinks Hippias is a traitor. I'm very tired. Excuse me. Poor Andromeda. She's so sad. And I think you know why, Philippides. What do you mean? <laughs> you might as well admit that you know her. I suspected that you knew each other. And when I saw her embarrassment on seeing you, I was certain of it. She never broke the promise she made. The promise her father gave to my father, you mean. Our marriage was decided on while we were still children. She doesn't love me. <laughs> if you want to marry her, I might be able to help you. And what do you want in exchange? I? Nothing. Crucis does. You and your sacred guard could be valuable to him. You see, they left the two of us alone. So we might talk plainly. You can have Andromeda. Only if you aid us in our cause. Does Andromeda accept this? I said that she accept this. And you? Do you accept? Philippines, I asked you a question. I am asking the questions. Answer me. Does Andromeda agree to this? Uh why, of course she does. Otherwise, we would hardly have asked you here. She would do it for her father. She would do anything for him. And if necessary, she would do anything for our cause. Philippides. What do you want? I waited for you. I want to tell you how I really feel. I love you. So now you love me. Now I know that you're one of them. I'll have no part of the scheme. Goodbye. The liberty. What did you tell him about me? Why does he hate me? He will be sorry. Since he came back from the city, he's not the same. He doesn't talk to anyone. Miltiades! Hail, Philippines! Welcome, Miltiades. I came for some of that fresh air you always talked about. Ah, the wind is from the east. Dries up the land. What are you talking about? The east wind brings rain. <laughs> Melodies, bring us wine. What's new in Athens? Let me see. Oh, they finished the new baths. It's very expensive, but to go there is a sign of distinction. It's not for us. Well, I've never been there myself. But I hear Theocrates goes there all the time to show how rich he is to everyone. Do you know who misses you in Athens, Philippides? That very beautiful girl from Mycena. Paris. And you never said a word about her. I don't know her. She might have seen you at Olympia. She wasn't the only girl who fell in love with you then. They all went out of their minds when they saw you. Especially when you wrestled the Spartan. 
I think he's a very good man. Euros is his name. He might have won, but I had all the luck that day. Your friends in the Sacred Guard don't call it luck, Philippides. After you left Athens, the heart went out of them. They need your leadership. They don't need me that much. No. They all need you now more than we ever did. But we can understand why you wanted to leave Athens. To avoid worries, responsibilities. Here you have calm and you can live pleasantly. You're wrong. There are responsibilities. Here, everywhere. But I'm not going back to Athens. Miltiades, I bring bad news. Persian forces have begun to land at the plain of Marathon. You must return to Athens. Think of my army, Hippias. You will see, Darius, your Persians won't even have to fight. The Athenians and all of Greece wait for the great Darius to liberate them from the tyranny of their rulers. You will march into Athens in triumph. Yes, you may be right, Hippias, and yet you may be wrong. I put my faith in my soldiers. This is not the first time that our country has been invaded. This is not the first time that our country, our cities, and our people have been threatened with destruction. True. But never before has the danger been so great. The Persians have but a few hours march away. What do you mean by that? That we should surrender? That we should welcome the Persians as friends? No! Don't you see that Athens alone isn't strong enough to defeat Darius and his army? We're too few in number. At most, we might arm 10,000 infantrymen and 5,000 cavalry. It's six against one, and we have no ships of war. We will arm everyone, everyone, and fight for an ideal common to every Athenian citizen. If we may not live in freedom, then we will die for freedom. Miltiades! Hail, Miltiades! Defend us from the Persians! Save us, Miltiades! Throw the Persians back into the sea. The gods be with you, Miltiades. Come, we are waiting, Miltiades. All of Athens waits to hear from you. I am sure you have an ingenious plan to lead us to victory. I do not possess the divine power to transform a disaster into a triumph. Theocritus asks me for a miracle, but he knows full well it cannot be. I can only say this. My men will fight for Athens up to the end. We shall force the invader back into the sea or he will enslave our people. Every one of us, every man who hates tyranny, 
His duty is to help fight the enemy. Well, then, why have you held back all the men of the Sacred Guard? These champions of the Sacred Guard. Why do they stay in Athens? Only a hundred men. Not enough to make a decisive difference in a war, Theocritus. They have been ordered to defend the temple of Pallas Athena. I do not believe in miracles, but I put faith in the will of the gods and in the justice of our cause. <laughs> what good is justice? What good is justice on the battlefield? There is no justice in war. Only strength. The number of armed men is what counts. Sword against sword. How can we match the Persian power? You forget one thing, Theocritus. When a man fights on the side of justice, he has the strength of a giant. He who defends his home, his wife and his children, is a tiger before the enemy. A splendid massacre. That is what our commander proposes. We will all be slaughtered. But in glory. Look at what the odds are. We are one against six. So I propose that we surrender to Darius. It is true that if we alone here in Athens attempted to push back the Persians, there would be little hope for us. But if we had an ally with an army as strong as ours, then there would be hope for us. The army of Sparta, with the help of Sparta, Athens would be saved. And what guarantees the help of Sparta? The common peril. After Athens, Sparta would be the Persians' target. And after Sparta, all of Greece. The Spartans know this. The Spartans have never trusted us. You're right. Sparta thinks that some Athenians are traitors, ready to welcome the Persians. But there is one man in whom they would believe, a man they respect, an Athenian who is above all suspicion, Philippides. As soon as our forces are ready, Athens will march against the Persians and will face them on the plain of Marathon. If the council approves my plan, I order you, Philippides, to leave for Sparta immediately and enlist their help. May the gods ride with you. We'll meet at Marathon. before today that he was the man for you. Yes, I love him. But someone turned him away from me. Since the day he was our guest, he despises me, hates me. I've been wrong, Andromeda. I've been so wrong in everything. The people are against Hippias. Theocritus is a liar. Father, you shouldn't blame yourself. No one doubts your good faith. Maybe everything will be all right. Why did you really come here anyway? Why did you? You say you want me to do something for you. Well, what is it? Tell me. I want to make sure that Philippides will not be harmed. He loves you and I know you love him. Protect him from Theocritus. Andromeda, Philippides doesn't love me. He's in love with you. He's in love with me. But he never spoke about you at all. Yet I could see it in his eyes. I knew it when he kissed me, that he loved another. I tried, 
but never could I make him forget you, Andromeda. Are you satisfied now? Are you? Karis, listen to me. Get out of here. You dare come here parading your precious innocence and your purity. Philippides loves you. What more do you want? Everyone has lost his head over this Philippides. They expect to save Athens by sending him to Sparta. If he manages to get to Sparta, I'll be surprised. Surprised? Why do you say that? Because we are at war and the road is treacherous. There are some men here to see you, Master. Tell me what happened. Where are the others? And Philippides? He's still alive. He got away. Ah! How I hate you. Come on, you're coming with me. No, let me alone, Theocritus. I'm taking you with me to the camp of Darius. No, I don't want to go. I'm sorry, my dear. You know too much, so you're coming with me. for its life, and yours eventually. The Athenian army is facing the Persian hordes at Marathon alone. The life of Athens depends on you. Athens asks you to help her fight. Sparta will listen to the appeal of Athens, but before the new moon has risen, there is nothing we can do. Our priests forbid us to fight until then. That is the will of the God. If the gods say that, then the gods will the destruction of all Greece. Philippides is right. We must help Athens. When Darius has taken over Athens, then nothing will stand in his way. He will come and take over Sparta. You are forgetting, Eurus, that for as long as we can remember, Sparta and Athens have been bitter enemies. Wars have divided us. How can we aid them after what we have suffered at their hands? Athenian, we suspect and mistrust you. What proof do you have that this is not an Athenian trick? The word of Philippides. I, Eurus, will vouch for it. Friends, 
I remember my encounter with Euros at the Olympic Games. Euros is a great fighter, and he can tell you himself that strong arms do not win a fight if the other parts of the body are not working with them. Spartans, our two cities are members of the same body, and if they fight together, then it can make all the difference. Greece shall be saved. I have nothing more to say. Now, the fate of Greece is in your hands. wants to strike fear in the hearts of the men with a skull. Our men don't frighten easily, Miltiades. using the cavalry. Let us attack them on the flanks. No. We better wait and see exactly what they're planning. Be patient.
Get back to your men. I'll call the reserves only as a last resort. Athenians! Philippides! Athenians, hold out! Sparta is with us! Philippides is back! Sparta is with us! Forward, all the reserves! Follow me! Attack! Theocritus, I'll give you the men of the 30 ships you want. The Athenians have no fleet in any case. But beware, there'd better be no resistance when these men land at Piraeus. What's more, I want you to arrange for the complete surrender of the Athenian army. You know what happens to those who betray me. This idea of yours to attack Athens from the rear is your last chance. Look over there! It's a woman! Come here, Curry. She heard all you said. Let her die on the dirt. She's a spy. That is what will happen to all your enemies. Hail, Darius. We'll meet again in Athens. Soon be midnight. The Spartans should have been here by sunset. Euros told me they would. Perhaps they've changed their minds. Perhaps they think that Darius will be satisfied just to conquer Athens. The day we were able to defend ourselves. But tomorrow, without Sparta, we have no chance at all. Look over there. It looks like they've taken a woman prisoner. Gallipides, come here, quickly! Found her just outside the camp. 
She asked for you. She said she had something to tell you. Karis. Philip D. What is it? I want you to listen. Beloved. Karis, what happened? The Persian fleet will land at Piraeus. <gasps> Tomorrow. They will attack Athens. Led by Theocritus, the traitor, Philippides. Beloved, you must save Athens. Leave now for Athens. Or else Charis will have died in vain. What can we do against a fleet? I want you and the men of the Sacred Guard to delay the landing at Piraeus. All right. It's the only thing to do. Listen, if the Spartan army comes in time, we will be able to attack. But we will attack before dawn. Hold out as long as you can. If you do not see us by noon, save yourselves. Pray to the gods for her, Natiades. And pray for help. Prepare a funeral pyre for this woman and bury her ashes on the field of battle. She fought and died as one of us. back in an hour.
father. What is it, Andromeda? I didn't hear you go to bed. I was worried. I couldn't get to sleep. I wanted to think a little. Do not worry about me, Andromeda. Father, why won't you tell me? I'm not a child any longer, yet you treat me like a baby. There is something wrong. Everything is wrong, Andromeda. Everything. No. I'm sure that Philippides will succeed in his mission. A very touching family scene. Forgive me for interrupting you, but this is important, Crucis. And between friends, there is no need to stand on ceremony. What do you want, Theocritus? The time has come to show Hippias how loyal we are. I am here to hold you to your promises. What do you mean? Your father must convince the Consul to surrender to Darius. As the most venerable member of the Consul, he can make them do whatever he wants. Whatever you want, you mean. Well, Theocritus, I'm not a traitor to my country. I shall tell the Consul we must resist. I will not bother to tell you again. Convince the council, or you will never see your daughter again. No. Father. Stop. No. Let me go. Let her go. When you come to your senses. No. Not before. No. I don't curse you. Listen to me. You have no choice anymore. If Athens does not surrender, it means the life of your daughter. to Piraeus. The Persians are landing there, attacking us from the rear. Listen carefully. Our orders are to hold back the Persians only as long as we can. Remember, we're only a hundred against a whole fleet. We have no fear of them, Philippides. We will hold them back as ordered. We have a chance if we surprise them. First, we'll set the stakes in the water. And men, we fight only if I give the signal. Philippides! Thank the gods you are still here, Philippides. It's my master, my master Crucis. He's been wounded, he's dying. Won't you help him? Keep going. I'll be right back. I ask nothing for me, but save Andromeda. She loves you, Philippides. Where is Andromeda? Theocritus took her away by force, but I don't know where. I will do what I can to find her. I don't mind dying. I don't care what happens to me. But her, no. She's done nothing wrong. She's suffering. Without knowing why. Save her. Save her, Philippides. I can only say this. If the gods are just, they will help. All right, let's get started. Follow me.
we'll get to Athens. In my chariot. Don't be too sure. share my triumph as your slave or as my queen you have your choice today I will have Athens at my feet impossible the gods will defeat you you're wrong Andromeda even Zeus would not be able to stop this feat Full 
themselves of by a handful of men. Forward! Pull on those oarsmen! Don't let them get away! Open the jaws!
Sparta didn't come in time. Miltiades must have been defeated. I'm not afraid. I found you again. Man the oars! 